everybody, it's Bunny. And it's everybody's favorite day of the week. The day of the week when we ask ourselves, does this thing really work? And I saw it on TikTok, so of course we've got to test it out. Today we are going to be making a lava lamp lip gloss. Also, you guys, I kind of look like a mess right now. At first my sassy little mini buns here, they started off as like, ha ha, like messy. And now they're like, ha ha, messy. It's not the same vibe. Also, <sighs> I just did a costume change. I just filmed an entire outfit of the day and then I decided I wanted to be comfortable. But now you guys can see my bra wings. That also sounds like a sports team. Go bra wings. Anyway, sippy sippy. Let's get started. So I see these makeup making kits all the time on TikTok. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. And also, can they possibly be good? I got this from Amazon and we are gonna be making rainbow lava lip gloss. It's supposed to be simple and easy. Mix and make five shimmering mini lava lamp lip glosses. Cool colors and yummy flavors. Let's see what the yummy flavors are. I think that this is gonna be a pretty easy kit. Will I need the instructions? Even if I need them, will I use the instructions? I don't know. Ooh, cardboard. <laughs> Save that for later. Oh my god. Look at the little lava lamps. They're so adorable. This looks like it's a lot of everything. Is this the whole kit? And we have, ooh, I think these are the scents. I'm excited to smell them. <gasps> oh no. Is this all dried up and crusty in here? The colors look a little unwell. And uh, lastly, what is this? Oh, it's the mineral oil. How exciting. Okay, so let's go through everything and then um, I will get you guys camera angle number two down here and we can see everything up close all at once. Uh, mineral oil. I'm sure you guys are dying to see this up close because it's so interesting. I'm gonna have to smell it as soon as I rip it out of the plastic bag because I'm ill. Oh my god. I've been mineral oiled. It's very leaky. I was not expecting that. Okay. Okay. Um, luckily for me, I do have paper towels. <laughs> Always within arm's reach because I'm an extremely messy person. But let me dry this off because <laughs> I don't even think I can open it in the current state that it's in. Let's just take a little snip. It has a safety seal. How is it leaking? I would give this safety seal a zero. Okay, it's like so greasy. I literally cannot even properly open it. I must resort to other methods. So I'm just gonna poke a hole in it because nobody's, oh my God, now I have mineral oil all over my scissors, please. Bottoms up. Oh, why does this smell like roses? Oh my God, okay, I was not expecting that. Okay, now cutting open the other ingredients. Blue shimmering glycerin mix. So we have blue, pink, and yellow primary colors. Cuz I did just look at the instructions for a nanosecond. You can mix these glycerin colors together if you wanna make like purple or orange or green or some other really cool color. Um, let's see what the smells are. Strawberry flavor. You guys, I hope you didn't have your heart set on strawberry because y'all this like this is an empty bottle. It looks like there's just a tiny suggestion of a blue raspberry scent. Okay, this is the scent I would have picked anyway. I mean, blue raspberry. Um, so much cooler than strawberry. Let me just put a couple drops on a paper towel and take a sniff. Smells like a Jolly Rancher. Yeah, I don't, it's like a very weak scent. I don't know why they call it flavor. Flavor is very like, you can eat this. Whereas scent is like, you can smell this. Each of these shimmering glimmer bottles, like they do all have like a cracking seal, but it just does not look like there's much in here. Oh my God. It's like all like dry and crusty. Oh my God, y'all. I'm gonna take an iPhone clip. Well, that just put a big Y in this DIY process. Didn't think I needed safety glasses for this, but here we are. Okay, what channel should I watch on the TV while I try and open the rest of these very frightening products? <laughs> 
I just don't know. Oh, okay. See, red. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, this is like a hidden memory. Was well, not hidden because I remember it right now. Do y'all remember this like oatmeal stuff that existed in the 90s? You'd make the oatmeal and then it would come with like this squeezy flavor packet and strawberry was always my favorite. And you would like squeeze little designs you were supposed to be drawing in your oatmeal and that gelatinous flavor like goo. So delicious. It's probably really unhealthy for you because I feel like they don't make it now, which implies it's discontinued. And I'm sure there's a reason for that, but oh, it was delicious. You guys, this is doing the same thing. It's like so stuck in there. You can't even see. Can you see that? It's like so stuck in there. And I'm like squeezing so hard that like the whole cap just exploded. I'm not even gonna try that again, you guys. I'm just gonna take the cap off of the yellow. Cause now upon closer inspection, I do see like some goo in there. I don't know what they're trying to call this. It's like colored oil goo is like the best way to describe it. I'm gonna give it a little shake. Definitely the best part of this kit is the lava lamps. I haven't even taken them out of the bag and I can already tell you the best part of this kit is the lava lamps. I would almost argue the lava lamps are worth buying the kit for, but if you want like actual, real, usable, not disgusting and strange lip gloss, just buy like this and then like a real lip gloss kit. Does that make any sense? I think that this is obviously like a kit meant for multiple humans, not just one. Cause we have, I believe five pipettes in here. Cause you're supposed to, you know, it's a kit for five lip glasses. Who's gonna fight over the colors? You know what I'm saying? We have teal, green, pink, blue, and purple. Big green, obviously for the Swamp Fam. We unscrew this top to reveal a rollerball. Look at that. Very fancy. I feel like rollerball lip glosses are fancy. And then in this kit, we also have these like funny little stir spoons. Look at that. Little ice cream tester spoons. And also these that I feel like I took out of the bag and then didn't show you. They're like pea sample cups. Ta-da! These are our little mixing bowls. And they even came with lids. Um, okay, so now let's consult the instructions. You're supposed to use the dropper and add mineral oil and fill up the bottle halfway. Then you add a couple of drops of flavor. Ugh, I'm gonna lose my voice. <gasps> Maybe I should stop yelling. Add flavor, a couple drops, and then add color. And then you can mix other colors if you want. See, these are their little recipes. Look at that. Can you, can you see the color recipes? I hope so. And then you add the roller ball back and then it is like literally supposed to look like a lava lamp. Yeah. Let me get the second camera angle set up. Whew. You guys, I feel like I just had a fight with this tripod. All right. Time to make our slightly gross lip gloss. Okay. They say remove that oh that was so easy this just like pokes in and out is that a good way to describe that look at it yes and we go like that and ta-da <gasps> okay i was not supposed to <laughs> necessarily take that off oh my god okay 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 um so since i don't really need to like split this up amongst my four other sleepover guests just me and kermit here uh i am just gonna dip the pipette here in the mineral oil just stick the thing in the bottle <gasps> Ooh, i'm squeezing the pipette and look at that the mineral oil is just like slowly getting sucked up in there. Why am I so fascinated by this? Dang, this stuff is like thick. Ta-da! All right, now I think it said half. Half of it is supposed to be oil. Now we are filling this up. This is not gonna be <laughs> enough in a single pipette. Ta-da! Okay, I feel like it requires three pipettes worth. All right, now we add a couple drops of flavor. So let's go ahead and do that. And they just show that going 
directly into the bottle here. One, two, three, four. I don't know why I was counting to four. I just kind of went for like seven. Okay. Now we're supposed to mix together the color. Oh my gosh. It says the colors will also mix themselves in the bottle. So there's blue and pink is what we need. Yes. Um, it's kind of hard to like measure because the uh, blue stuff just exploded everywhere as you guys saw. So I can only like, I can't, you know, put in drops really. I can only be like, well, I poured in this much blue out of the bottle. Uh, all right, let's stir this together and see what color purple. Okay, let's see, what does this look like? Does that look purple? Oh, we're supposed to pipette the color in the bottle? Interesting, what if I just, no, 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 I'll follow instructions. I was like, what if I just pour it? I don't see any reason why I can't just pour the blue in the bottle, but hey, we'll play it your way. Crazy art. I'm trying to even see, I don't feel like I necessarily, have enough color? <gasps> Ew, it's like the flavor got trapped up in there. Oh my God. <gasps> oh, that looks so cool. That does look like lava in the lava lamp. <gasps> Maybe this camera is like not good enough. Let me try. Oh my God, you guys, but I don't feel like there's like not enough product in there. This is messy. This is very messy. Okay, I'm gonna try and just be brave and pour the rest of this in there. Oh, let's try this again. Okay, that's doing a little better now. I hope you guys can see how cool it actually does look like lava lamp stuff going in there. Oh my God, can you guys even see that? I feel like I'm gonna have to make another one and just show you guys what it looks like up close because I'm not sure that that second camera just did it justice. This is like very oily. No kidding because the whole main ingredient of this is mineral oil. Purple stuff is like way sunk to the bottom but it is in there. I don't know if you guys can see How about that you guys. It's like I feel like there's not enough mineral oil. I don't care what the instructions say. I'm gonna add more mineral oil because I feel like there's not enough room for the lava lamp stuff to really shift around in there, let's say. Ta-da! Oh yeah, look at that! <gasps> That's like a lava lamp! Look at that! Look at that! That actually looks so cool! In conclusion, I really do enjoy this kit. I do feel like parts of it are a little bit messy, but in all fairness, they do say to like put down a cookie sheet or something like that. Because I feel like I started out doing this kit very cautiously and it is very easy to kind of get that little bubble pocket at the top of the lava lip gloss bottle. And then the mineral oil or the flavoring or the coloring, whatever, starts to shoot back out the top of the bottle. So besides like, oddly enough, some of the flavors or whatever being missing and all of that, I still feel like this is a really fun kit. And I'm sure a lot of y'all out there have a much better recipe for this. Well, you know what? Maybe you need the mineral oil though to get the lava lamp effect. Cause I feel like that's what's going on is the colors are a more lightweight liquid, whereas the mineral oil is kind of a thicker, heavier liquid. So I feel like that's how the colors kind of like drift through the mineral oil to give us that really cool lava lamp effect. Like it even gets these tiny little beads of color like trapped within the mineral oil. So it almost even looks like, you know, a lava lamp if it's turned off. And then when you turn it around, the lava lamp 
you know, looks like the lava is moving around. I also just love kits like this because I feel like they're perfect for all ages. They're very calming. Like I ended up making three. I did green lava in a purple lava lamp. I did purple in a teal lava lamp. And then I did orange in a pink lava lamp. I wanted to try all of the different color combinations that they suggested. And it was just really fun to kind of really get in there and mix all the the colors together, see how they turned out, and then it's so satisfying to pour the color you made into the lava bottle and then of course to shift it back and forth and see the lava really move around in there. Even if you were doing this as a craft and not a lip gloss, like just a mini lava lamp making kit, like I feel like it is really fun and I think that you do get a surprising number of supplies for like the $12. So I feel like this would be really fun, especially with summertime time right now. I feel like this is like a perfect summer activity. I did at the very end uh, attempt to apply it and it kind of doesn't really feel like it applies that well if I'm being honest because like you guys can see even when you fill it up like as fill as it as, as fill as full as it can be there's still room for the lava to move around like you'd have to like apply it like that do you know what I mean um, to really like get the product to be on the rollerball. So uh, I would love to know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know, would you wanna try this or is it a little bit too gimmicky? I personally wish that they gave you more of the flavoring so you could like really get the scent in the product. And I'm not sure what the solution would be. I mean, maybe I do just need to fill it up more but then as you use the product like kind of wouldn't you always have this problem of the product not really hitting the roller ball you know but i just wish that i felt like it was more of an actual quality makeup product but for what it is it is a lot of fun so thank you guys so so much for hanging out today and for watching if you're not already and you'd like to be hit the button down below subscribe become a member of the swamp family and give an alligator its wings i love you guys so so much and i'll be back again very very soon bye